Someone's just woken up from their nap. So we're gonna take you for a walk. Nelly, you hate walks, don't you? Absolutely hates them. We also bought her the cutest little jumper from Amazon to wear because we don't want her to be cold when she's outside, but she hates wearing clothing. It was so funny, we put her on, we put it on her this morning and it fitted so well, it looked so cute. But um, we came back upstairs and she'd managed to take it off herself, which I think is actually kind of magic. But it's your choice. Do you want to wear the jumper or not? So we're a little bit nervous about today's walk because we would like to train Nelly to walk off the lead. Um, so we're going to take her to like a big field park that we've got near us. And hopefully she won't run away and it will be a success. But we shall see. <laughs> a bit nervous about this. Nelly, you have to come out into the big wide world. I know you hate walks, but... I think she's going to enjoy this one. You're going to love it. We've got the big lead ready to take you on your 10 meter long lead when we get there. So we can practice you coming back. Come on. Oh, look how smart you look in your jumper. Very, very cool. <laughs> I really wanted to get the pink one, but Joe was like, absolutely not. No. So... We've already got a pinkish lead. Yeah, this one's just going to have to do, isn't it, Nelly? We've barely gone about five feet and she's not walking properly and I'm worried it's her jumper. Normally she just runs, tries to run alone. I know, maybe it's her jumper. Come on. Maybe she doesn't like it. Come on, let's Nelly, go. do you not like your jumper? She's squeaking already. Come on, baby. Let's go. Come on. No, you, I can't pick you up all the time. You have to walk. Right, guys, the jumper's off and she's suddenly found her... Um, Come on. She's found a groove. Come there on. we go. This is the Nelly that we knew. Maybe just jumpers aren't made for you. That's fine. That's okay. You just nice. do you. It's quite warm today. Not yet, you know. Oh, this is much better. The jumper was just like... <laughs> it was basically paralysing her. her. Look off. how little you look. Nelly does this thing where when we take her walking, all she does is just squeak the whole time. So she it sounds like we're walking along with a chicken. Honestly, it's so embarrassing because she's squeaking like genuinely so much. So we always feel really embarrassed when we go past people because we're like, oh my God, people probably think that we're like, that she hates us. She just sounds like a chicken the whole time. She already started squeaking now. Nelly, it's fine. You're having a great time. She's like, runs ahead, so she's, her tail's wagging. She's just squeaking. Yeah, it's not ideal. So Nelly just got scared by a big dog. Oh, baby, it barked in her face. Dogs are normally nice to Nelly, but she this loves one... meeting dogs on walks, but that one wasn't very friendly. It wasn't very friendly, was it? So we picked her up for a little bit just to calm her down. She was freaking out. And we're gonna go to the park. To we'll put her back down when she gets to the park. We don't want you to get scared of walks. Or dogs. Or dogs, no. <laughs> <That's> okay. <laughs> oh, she'll be fine. It wasn't very nice, was it? It wasn't very nice. She's gonna love the park though. Yeah. She's back down. Sarah's got her. I can't I literally love you up all the time. Come on, let's walk, let's show, show everyone how good you are at doing it. <laughs> We're back in action. Yes. On the walk. Not too fast. There we go. That's it. That's fun, isn't it? Come on, yeah. come here. Come on. Come here. Yes. Excited for the park. Great fun. The final destination. I love it when you're there, Nelly. She does look so small Hopefully on we'll the camera. Hopefully we'll meet another sausage. Hopefully we'll meet another sausage. Okay, so we're on the long lead for her to run free. But she just uh, is sit sticking to Sarah the whole time. No, you're supposed to run away. You're supposed to run away, come on. Go on. Look how much space you've got. You can go anywhere. <laughs> Still working it all out. You don't really get it, do you? <laughs> no. She'll get there. Is it a bit muddy for her? I don't know. Oh. She's just oh, fucking hell. Jesus. This league's too big for her as well. Oh, baby. <laughs> okay, we're doing what we were told to do, which is put you on a big lead. But all you want to do is come up. You've got to learn to love walking. Oh. <laughs> I know you want to come for cuddles, but you have to walk. This is ridiculous. The longest lead in the world. She didn't go anywhere. But she's just running next to Sarah. You can barely even see her, she's so small. 
There we go. I don't think, not that successful. No, not at all. It's the opposite, but I don't even think we need a bloody lead. She got scared by the dog. She, I reckon she just stayed. Yeah. <laughs> Look at, <laughs> Look at them. Them. Look at you two. Yeah, you covered them in mud. Yes. What a pair. What a pair. Hey, hey. Well, we tried. Take her back. Okay. We'll try again. Another oh, day. Sausage. What am I going to do with you? I don't understand. Doggies are supposed to like walks. Yeah. You're not, you're not an inside dog. She says, I like the sofa. We're going to go on runs together at some point, Nelly. Oh, you're such a chicken. <laughs> it sounds like a roosting hen. <laughs> I'm not sure how successful that was. Not overly. I just don't know what to do about having a dog that's just too scared to walk. Yeah, she was getting better, but today was not a good day. No. Maybe the jumper and the barking dog put her off. I think the barking dog wasn't ideal. I think it scared her. It's such a shame. Oh dear, have you got any any tips on nervous dogs when they go for a walk? Or dogs that just make this noise the whole time? Squeaky dogs. Squeaky. Yeah, that's the noise. We're going home. Please going let home. us know, because it's so weird. We're saying, we're <laughs> yeah, okay. we're going home. Obviously, when you get a dog, you think they're just going to love walking, and she's, she's got no reason to hate walking. She's never had any, like, nothing bad's ever happened to her on a walk, so she shouldn't sort of, like, associate it with anything scary. She's just... I think she might have cold feet, but I... <laughs> Should we get you some shoes? Yeah, some socks. Some socks. Some doggy socks. Simple way to stop the squeaking. <laughs> Come with Sarah. I do love that we're best friends, Nelly. I'm not going to lie. It is a great. It's great. I mean, you don't get a dog for them not to love you, but can you just love me a bit less? <laughs> we're back home in the warm now. Nelly's had a sleep. Stopped. She literally stops crying. And the moment she comes back home, she's trying to eat our lentil crisps I'm on the floor. <laughs> we're watching currently on Netflix. So this is our newest lockdown watch. World's inside the world's toughest prisons. The latest series that's come out. Season even. Um, and it's so good. We love a prison. Fully binging it. Prison doc. Yeah, it's the best. They're our faves. What do you think of it, Nelly? Can we go back to your rug? I'd like if you didn't clear my out, Nelly. That is my earring. Stop. This is why you like your nest up on the sofa, isn't it? So you can attack people. Yeah. Is that why? Wait, you got fluff in your mouth. Stop eating the fluff. Where do you even find this stuff? Honestly, what are you like? Look how long you are. That's such a sausage. Such a sausage. Can you smell daddy's cooking? Joe is making us dinner tonight. We're having, what are we having? Salmon noodle bowl. Salmon noodle bowl, which sounds delightful. I'm very excited about it. Can you smell it? Yes, you can. So Joe's decided that one of the things he wants to do in 2021 is get better at cooking, haven't you? It is, I've lost my way big time. So You've lost time. your way. I used to be all right. Did you? You don't believe me. But I no, I don't. Okay. You just used around. to cook like rugby meals, which is just giant bowls of spaghetti. I did do that a lot, yeah. Yeah. My and like... My presentation isn't very good. Still, huge but. things of scrambled eggs. Also, yeah, I... It tastes nice. I'm sure it does. I can't wait till we've got our dining room chairs, because at the moment yeah. it just still looks so hilarious that we've got these garden chairs around the table. I know, you kind of, they kind of blend in after a while. We don't have our pasta bowls yet, so it's a salmon, no. salmon noodle they, plate. They are coming though, right? They're on the way. We ordered these new um, crockery, is that what you call it? Plateware? I don't even know. Um, from Habitat, and it's like this sort of like speckly plate, but the only thing that was missing from the set was pasta bowls. But this looks amazing. Yum. Should Health be. life. It smells amazing. I'm excited. Clear plates. It went down very well. I actually ate that so quickly. Success. So quickly. Yeah, we actually hooped oh, it. Oh my god, what is Nelly doing? Christ. Nelly? She's terrified herself. <laughs> uh, no, that's uh, to get gel nails off, silly. You can scare yourself. Do you want to have a manicure? <laughs> silly sausage. So, I've just gone out to get some bread and it is Baltic out there. 
not very happy about this. So I've come back and give Sarah the good news before her run. So she literally came back and went, oh, it's Baltic out there. I'm like, great, it's a Sunday morning. I don't want to go running anyway. And it's, apparently it's freezing outside. I just wanted you to be prepared. Thanks. How do you then? Good luck. Thanks. <laughs> Firstly, how was the run? Oh, it's so cold outside. Like, it's actually... Oh, wait, there's no bin bag in there. Um, it's freezing. Like, it's so, so cold. My hands were not loving life. It was so cold. I'm not excited about mine. Yeah, Joe's running a half marathon today for fun. Yeah. For fun. Just gonna give it a go. Him and his mate Freddie have decided that... Out of the blue. They're gonna run. Just see how it goes. Yeah, I mean. I don't think we're gonna run very fast. I'd rather you than me. Yeah. But the good thing is, after like what twelve minutes, I was warm and it was fine. So. Yeah. So but now what's going on? It did make me question why I live in a cold country. Why? Um, so now we're making breakfast. Joe and I have decided that during lockdown number three, we thought we'd just get really sassy with our breakfasts. Yeah. And make yummy things. So this morning we're gonna have. Making it up as we go, but we're going to make sriracha um, guacamole, which is going to be avocado, sriracha, spring onions, and red pepper. So that's going to be all like mushed up, so kind of like a salsary guacamole kind of yummy goodness. Sounds glorious. We're going to put it on some sourdough, and then we're going to put a. We, I wanted to do a poached egg, but I can't poach an egg. And I don't know if you can either. We want to get something like, if anyone knows anything that makes a good poached egg, please let us know. There's so many options, but... And like, when you know when you go to a restaurant, it comes out, it's like a perfectly formed little egg. Like, how do they do that? How? In this bowl, I've got my avocado, my pepper. Yeah, that was <laughs> spring onion. I put some sriracha on top, and then I just added some salt. And then I'm just going to mush it all together. Oh, that so it's like great. a sort of salsary ooh, avocado situation. I should have put it in a bigger bowl. It's actually quite a lot. Yeah, it's growing. I know. I need to squish all that avocado up. I want it to be like chunk chunky, you know, not too like yeah. too mushed. We're seriously um, questioning how this is going to go down, but we're giving it a go. We're, we're questioning it more because we've got these bloody double yokers. Yeah. I don't know how you poach a very large egg. And I think we have to spin the water. Oh, Wish us luck. We've done it before. You said that you used to be really good at poaching eggs. I poached eggs with you before and you didn't eat them, but you were like, they look great. Oh. Yeah? You don't remember? No. In lockdown. There's been many lockdowns. Lockdown one. Lockdown number one. Okay. That, was, that feels like a long time ago. Went for an avocado and toast phase. Oh, yeah. This is also my favourite way to toast when you toast two slices of bread. This works really well if you're having a, like a bacon sandwich. But if you toast the bread together, then the outside goes all like crispy and toasted, but the inside's still sort of like soft. And it just is great. Not that we're having a sandwich, but still I like, quite like a bit of soft sourdough. It's not going so well. This is, uh, um, <laughs> this looks horrendous. See, this is why I don't I ever it... poach eggs, because this is what happens every time. There is a good one in there. Oh my god. Oh my lord. Oh, they're all joining together. Too. It's turning into some crazy egg baby. It just all separates. I know, I don't understand. Might have to fry them. Okay. Guys, this is the biggest fail. What is that? That's a yolk. Okay, we, okay, I give, this is why I don't poach eggs because this happens to me every time, right? We're frying them. Let's like, fry them in some coconut oil. I feel like one, one at a time is fine, but when you add the others in, they. <laughs> oh, we just have to eat those. It's just like. That's hilarious. They, they look like little alien babies. They're cooked so quickly as well. Okay, yeah, no. Well, even if it's a hard yolk, I can, you, we can we can mash it up and make like some sort of like egg. Yeah. Egg mayonnaise something with it. Three poached eggs. <laughs> Sorry, sight. <laughs> yeah, I mean. I think some practice is needed. I've definitely been practicing since I was like, since I left home at like 20. Okay. And so I still can't poach an egg. So no, six years. No I've been practicing you. for six years. We're gonna need some technology. Yeah, we are. So come on, guys. Hit me up with some good poached egg things. Eggs. Much easier. Always and then we'll just option. eat those. <laughs> just. <laughs> that still tastes fine. Salt, it's like yeah. egg gate here. Yeah. <laughs> And here's the magic moment. So we drizzled some olive oil onto the sourdough. Looks very nice. Probably should have done a bit more of this, but we only had one avocado. So we'll have to have a nice little sharing, sharing amount. That'll be good. 
Sorry. Big giant egg on the top of that and we're laughing. Yeah, we've got to get the feta out and crumble the feta on top. Oh yeah. Added some extra sriracha on the top and here is my feta avocado sriracha scrambled situation thing. <laughs> I know, after having just made that up in my head on the spot, I think it looks delightful. These, however, look bizarre as hell, but we'll cover them in sriracha and salt and they'll taste amazing. We'll, be still, we'll still be eating them. So, Joe's just got back from his half marathon. Completed. How did you find it? It was good. We ran at quite leisurely pace, so it was a nice run all around the rivers, the River Thames. I can't believe that you ran for an hour and 50 minutes. I can't even run for like 10 minutes without wanting to shoot myself. You'll get there, we'll run a half marathon together at the end of lockdown. Not a chance. Yeah. Not a chance. Okay, Imagine man. me trying to run a Leisurely run. <laughs> Maybe in like 2050 I might be ready to run. Goals. But I'm glad. My, my, my joints are sore though. My hips and my Yeah, knees. we need to feed you up now. And I'm getting old. Was you, did you feel fueled from your nice egg breakfast that I made you? I did, I felt like I had plenty of energy, so... Avocado, egg, a bit of sourdough. That's all you need to go around. Yeah, that's all you ever need in life. I feel like I've accomplished a nice little... You don't even look that, like, worn out. Mission. It wasn't, it was quite a leisurely pace. Yeah, but it's still an hour and 50 minutes of running. Yeah. I don't understand. No, that's my head. Ow! You're being very needy. Very needy. Sunday nights. No, I finally cleaning. Very what are you needy. Doing? Very needy, Nelly. What are you doing? Mummy's little baby. Mummy's little baby. Okay. Oh, it's really nice. <laughs> Having fun? I feel very dishevelled. <laughs> oh, I'm all dog trouble. I'm just gonna lie there now. Okay. Go to sleep, Nelly. Yeah. It's been a big. You've watched day. David Attenborough. <laughs> oh, you've watched Get Into the Greek, which Joe thoroughly enjoyed. Oh God, that's so good. I'm such a slob. I haven't even had a shower since going for a run. Ugh. I know how disgusting. I'm still in my gym wear. Ugh. <laughs> so Sunday, leave me alone. Yeah. So Sunday, so and now I'm covered in dog slobber, so... You're sweaty and slobber. I don't even think I sweated that... Swe sweated? <laughs> sweated? Sweated. Sweated. I don't think I sweated, though. That sounds like the wrong word. I, th I don't know. I think it's right. Because um, it was so bloody cold. Yeah. Freezing. Didn't even break a sweat. <laughs> <laughs> Literally having focusing issues. Masks and vlogging doesn't quite go together. So um, I'm out of the house today, guys. I've come to this amazing shoot location with Annie in the background. Annie is my wonderful friend and SLA photographer. Um, we are doing some shooting of the new Angel Number sets and the Cream Police, which I've actually gotten here, on myself, because I always forget and always just focus on the models and then think, oh my God, I haven't actually shot it on myself. So that's what we're doing today because tomorrow is the big e-com website SLA shoot for them, which is very exciting. But we're at this amazing like penthouse location with the Honestly, like the ultimate views of London. So I'm just gonna show you guys. So this is the view. We've basically got every single London landmark apart from Big Ben and uh, the London Eye that you can see. We've got the Shard at the end there, which is amazing. And then it's just this big open space with really nice colored concrete walls. This was the reason why I wanted to shoot here because I really appreciate the color of the walls. But um, I was just saying, imagine having like a party in here. Because I think at night it would look amazing, but look at the view of the Shard at the end. It's actually amazing. I'm also really jealous of this rooftop here. I'm like, imagine living there and having that rooftop and then you'd have that view of the Shard. It'd be very dreamy. So we're sort of just doing a bit of a test shoot in here today because I want to try out the location and work out whether it will work for a full on SLA shoot. So I'm using myself as a guinea pig. So I'm back home now. The shoot was actually quite successful. That location had like the dreamiest concrete walls as a backdrop. Um, it's always great fun doing the like scouting for locations. One of my favorite things about actually owning a brand is go, I mean, honestly, the location houses that I have saved for like shoot locations on my laptop are, it's given me a really unrealistic expectation of where I want to live when I eventually end up buying somewhere. But anyway, so I'm back now. I need to do some tidying because the place looks like an absolute bomb site. Um, but I also just want to show you something. I bought these new sunglasses. These, these are from Attico. They're the Linda Farrow collab 
sunglasses. I am literally obsessed with them. Let me come to the light. They are so big. They are like honestly so bougie. I feel like a fly, but I love I love glasses that are this size. I just immediately feel bougie with these on. Like, hmm. Hi, um, so that's what I wanted to show you, but I also just wanted to talk about something else. So I recently, Joe and I just signed up to um, a meal delivery service thing and I'm actually loving it. We wanted to start with Nutrition Kitchen, but they're not actually launching until uh, February, I think. So in the meantime, I was looking for something else and I came across these things on Google after searching um which were called balanced meals i did them for the first time yesterday and um i absolutely love them they're so so good and so if, i just thought i'd mention that that's actually what i'm having for um meals at the moment while we're in lockdown and also just with january and wanting to be healthy and i honestly they're one of the best like they just taste so good and they're not too jimmy um, I, I hope you know what I mean by that. You know how like some of these meal prep services are, are just literally like chicken, broccoli, rice, and they're not really like very tasty. Um, absolutely, this is not sponsored or paid or anything. I just, yeah, just really like them. I'm really enjoying eating them. I always feel like um, my food, like nutrition side of things is probably where I let myself down the most when it comes to fitness because I am such a foodie, like, Oh, I'm obsessed with food. You know, I mean, you guys have seen, like, Joe and I go out for meals so often because we just love food. Like, food makes me happy. Food literally makes me happy. Um, but I just feel like, you know, because we're in lockdown, like, nothing else is really going on. And I just thought, if I can try and just be a little bit, not restricting, but, like, just a bit more sensible with what I'm eating. But I think having, like, meals delivered to your door makes it so much easier because it takes the temptation out of things. Like, for example, if I went on to Deliveroo, yeah, okay, there's healthy options. But you get, like, tempted with all the unhealthy options. So it makes it harder to pick. Also, sorry, the light keeps going in and out. Um, it makes it harder to be healthy. So at least when you've just got the meal, you know that's what you're eating for the day. And then that's it, basically. So... I'm hoping it's going to work, and I'm going to do it for majority of... I think we're going to do it for the whole of January at least, and then, depending on what the situation is when we get into Feb, I might carry on, um, if I'm enjoying it, obviously. For lunch today, I've got a salmon fillet with rice noodles and some teriyaki sauce, which looks really nice. I'm very excited to eat it. Oh my god, I have to put in a picture that Joe's just sent me. Um, it's literally on my phone, but I'll put it on the screen here. So he took Nelly into the office today, so he had to pop in, and I was out, and I'd been out most of the day. And obviously we still can't really leave Nelly for too long. So I was like, can you take her into the office when you go in? Um, and he's just sent me a picture of her on the tube. She's such a cosmopolitan London dog now. Apparently she loved it. She was having a great time. She obviously went, went in this morning and Joe was like, she had literally was loving life. And um, yeah, so she's just riding back home now, which is very exciting. Um, I was just lying here um, doing some work and I was thinking that I actually meant to mention to you guys that. So for the second week of this lockdown, I thought I would do something like start something a bit of a challenge. I think it's good to do something like that, especially during lockdowns. So I found this squat challenge on Pinterest, which I will also just put in here so you can see it. Um, so maybe like, I don't know, take a picture of the screen or screenshot it or something. Uh, that's what I'm going to be doing for the next 30 days. Um, because I just feel like, why not? I mean, obviously I'm going for my runs, but like for example today I couldn't get out because I was having to leave early. Um, so I just thought I'd just, you know, start the squat challenge and who knows? Maybe I'll have a nice peach by the end of this. There a little Nelly coming up the stairs. Where's my Nelly? Where's my Nelly? Where is my Nelly? Where is my Nelly? Hi, baby. Oh. Wow. I missed you so Surely much. just the best, the best wow. entrance ever. I missed you. I think she's you missed you too. Did. It's been so quiet all day. Oh, baby. It's barely moved. Have you been good for daddy? Have you been good? It's been almost too oh, good. She didn't, she didn't even do anything. Good. Papa, you like going into the office, don't you? I think she forgot. She oh. forgot what it was like. Oh, baby. Oh. Ow, that's my earring. So, we've arrived on the official SLA shoot. We've got the unbelievably stunning Rihanna in the middle here. You guys might remember from the last SLA shoot. Looking amazing in the stone jogger set. We've got Mikey and Sarah again, who you also 
probably remember from one of my other vlogs. We've got Zoe Hudson Hello. behind me here. <laughs> and um, we have arrived in this amazing little venue. It's very sort of industrial vibes. It's very East London, shall we say. Um, so we're gonna go through and start shooting. Got some little SLA, ooh, got some SLA goodies all hanging up here, ready to be shot. The dreamy fleece that we're all just obsessed with because it is amazing. Honestly, I get so proud when, I, when this moment happens and you see the model in it, I'm like, yay! Right, so Annie's brought to the shoot today this absolute piece of kit. <laughs> it looks like you're going scuba diving. It looks like one of those underwater cameras. It's, it's a Polaroid that takes like four. So we're very excited to try it out, but we're not sure. <laughs> yeah, it will, so we'll let you guys know how it goes. <laughs> Having a cheeky little look through. She's wearing the super soft bodysuit here with the stone joggers. But honestly, I am obsessed. She just looks absolutely insane. Guys, we have success. The Polaroid actually worked. Look how insane this came out. I'll do a better shot. Rihanna looks unbelievable in it. This is great. You're on focus. It's like this is like a real sort of like artistic shot I've got going here. <laughs> look how cool this looks. Oh my god. I literally, that's just insane. Right guys, Polaroid, number two. Let's hope this comes Why out. Why is this exactly so much? I know, now that we've got the pressure of being filmed. <gasps> Stop. Oh my, oh my god, this is so, so cool. Sick. <gasps> oh my god, I'm actually obsessed with this bloody Are camera. Are you serious? And then oh you've got to take cool. off the like, the black frame, because it looks a bit ugly right now. <laughs> Seriously, I wish it wasn't so like bloody chunky. I know. Oh my god, stop. They are insane. <gasps> Look at that. Oh. oh my god, that is amazing. Let me focus in on that. How insane. Oh my god. <gasps> Here are the Polaroids from today's shoot. Honestly, Polaroids are the best things ever. They always just look so cool when they're all together like this. It's great because we keep them all and we put them up on the boards in the SLA office just to kind of like remind us of all the shoots we've done and you know, we'll look back on these in years to come and see the progression of all the different shoots we've done which is quite nice. Just thought I would share with you all my food for today. So I've got some egg muffin things, then for lunch I'm having some chicken satay skewers, then some cauliflower tikka curry with rice which sounds really good and then there's also a little protein ball thing in here but honestly i know i said this before but i'm genuinely really really enjoying it the food has been so good so far so i thought i'd just sit here while i eat my breakfast and have a chat with you guys but i'm going to try one of these first and let you guys know if they are nice they look really good i love an egg muffin who would have thought of that mm. Honestly, it's so good. I just love food food as i said just makes me so happy i honestly go to bed at night excited to eat the next day like i think about all the food i'm gonna eat the next day is that weird i don't know um so the sla shoot went so well yesterday i was so pleased with how it went it's just so nice when you actually obviously when you've had something like on a cad sheet for so long and then it's made and it's sampled and then you try it on yourself but then when you kind of put it on other people and you see like a the creative vision of a shoot come together it, it is really rewarding when it goes really well so I'm super excited about that and obviously as I said they are launching on the 17th of Jan at 6 p.m. so this vlog's going up on 17th so maybe make a little note that it'll be 6 p.m. tonight um, when this vlog goes up so yeah so that was um really fun so I'm just at home today I wanted to go for a run this morning but the English weather is playing me why does it understand that I'm trying to live my best healthy lifestyle it's just it's just out to get me like it's literally torrential rain so i tried to do an ab workout this morning and nelly was having absolutely none of it so i think i'm gonna have to retry <laughs> retry it um downstairs without her because it was just an absolute disaster i'm actually not really doing much at all i am gonna have a bit more a bit of a planning day i really like to have days like this where i just kind of like sit down plan out sla stuff youtube videos just really really boring stuff but i did think today i would show you my makeup room what's that nelly oh thank you for bringing your rabbit um because it's basically done now i've put majority of stuff away i still have two big boxes of um products and stuff in storage that i need to go and get and put it all in there but i thought i'd just show you guys what it looks like because it's honestly like it's such a dream room now i can't believe i've never had a place just for makeup storage before because i'm lucky enough to be sent so many like amazing products but it's so amazing to have them but then they do take up a lot of space so 
But I honestly, I don't know how I, now I've got that room, I'm like, I'm not sure how I've ever lived life without a makeup storage room. So yeah, so I'll eat my breakfast and do a little bit up here and then I will take you guys down to see that. Right, so here it is. Here's the room and brought little Miss Nelly down with me so she's not crying. Um, I've got Joe's bike here so we don't have anywhere else to put it. It's kind of got a bit of a random stuff in this room currently. We've got our drying stuff and whatnot over here. These are the big mirrors that we want to put up um, next to the bed. I need to arrange to have those hung up. And I've just got the table in here that I used to sit and film at when I film my videos. This was actually one of the best purchases I made. It's literally from Argos. It was I think like 20 quid for this table. It was so cheap and it's just great for filming because it doesn't take up too much space. It's super lightweight so I can like lift it around. So yeah so then over here is the makeup storage and I basically put everything in where it needs to go but I do want to get some of those plastic drawer organizers because I've just put everything like in the drawer but I need to come and actually organize it properly I just don't know where to get like really good ones and all the ones they seem so expensive for drawer organizers and I need so many of them so I don't feel overly comfortable about paying like seven quid per box because I mean Jesus Christ it'd be so expensive so yes I've got like highlighters in here and perfumes and things like that um obviously that top one's fake tan then this one here I've just got like random little like miniatures of things um and like Christmas gift sets in that drawer so yeah so in this one this is where I'm going to put all my lashes so I've started to line them all up this one actually looks nicely organized because it's just got a bit more order to it and then I've just got some like loose um lip glosses and lipsticks there so um this pull out drawer I've just put a mixture of all the lipsticks because it looks so aesthetically pleasing like this and I love that you can see it through the glass top I just think it looks so cool um so yeah so that's what I've done I'm really pleased actually that I got this big pull out tray and then I've also just kept some of my um favorite sort of PR boxes that I've been sent just because they're so nice that you actually don't want to throw them away because they're such amazing quality as well and they're just so pretty so they work really well actually just sort of as like decoration in here so then in this drawer I've put put my um, eyeshadow palettes. I've laid them out flat for now, but it's quite good because obviously if I get too many, I can actually stack them up like this way and then I can fit loads in. But for now, I just think they look so pretty sort of out like this. Then this next drawer is where I'm gonna put all just like makeup. Um, so you like concealers, foundations, blusher, bronzers, things like that. I'm a bit worried about this drawer getting too full though because I have two boxes still that I have to unpack and I'm hoping it's all gonna fit in there, but we shall see. As I said, it might be a case of having to have a bit of a reorganize of how things are in there. Then this one is gonna be skincare. So I've got some of my skincare things in here currently, um, but it's just so great now to know where everything is. So know that if I like need to come and get some skincare, I can come in here and just open this drawer and it's just, I'm feeling so organized, it's great. And then this is hair care in here. Which again is so good if I ever, you know, when I run out of products and I need to come and get something for hair. It's just so good having this. It's honestly a dream. And then this bottom drawer is basically where I've put sort of like random stuff at the moment. And then this one is going to be um, makeup brushes. So I haven't actually got them all out yet, but I've just sort of put them in here so that I know that that's what that drawer is going to be. And then obviously, as I mentioned before, I need to get some more drawers to fill this out, but I just haven't got around to ordering them yet, but that's what's going to go here. So I'm just going to add up probably like two more drawers. Then I've actually got an entire drawer of Frank Body. I don't know why, but I've been sent so much of it um, that it's needed its whole own drawer. But I think I'll put other sort of like body scrubs and things like this in here. And then this drawer is sort of like, I've got nail polishes at the back here, because I don't have too many nail polishes. Um, but I'm obviously going to use them in lockdown. I mean, well, look at my nails right now. They're disgusting. I had to take my... Um, I had to take my nails off and I'm using just nail polish because I can't be bothered to do the whole gel thing and it just never stays on. Um, so yeah, so in here I've just sort of got like PR gifts that have been sent um, with packages. So it's just nice to have a little place to put all that sort of stuff that comes. And then... This one is great. So this is makeup bags, which I just absolutely love. I've got an entire drawer full of makeup bags. I'll actually, show you this one. I actually love this um, makeup bag. It's so cute. It's like made out of, so it's a Frank Body one, but it's made out of like a neoprene sort of fabric. Um, so yeah, so that's what's in that drawer. And then this bottom one is sort of hair stuff, so electricals and things like that. So I'm so pleased with it. I'm really pleased with how it looks. And it's just honestly such a dream to have some proper storage. And as I say, once I've got the drawers to go here and there, it'll be great because I'll just have extra storage for as and when I need it. While I'm down here, I may as well open up some of these PR packages, which Nelly has decided she loves chewing this box. She's already chewed the corner off it here. Can you leave it alone, please? Are you going to help? Okay, you take that bit. No, no, don't take the whole box. 
and take the tissue paper off. Yeah? <laughs> You're so silly. So what we've got in here, so we've got some Bobbi Brown skincare. Look at this, Nelly. This vitamin rich face base I absolutely love. It's so good, I've used it so many times before. It's great for under makeup um, as a primer, but also just to use on its own. Then what else have we got in here? So we've got a cleansing oil, which I just love a cleansing oil. I feel like they just feel so nice on your skin when you're taking the makeup off. What else have we got in here, Nelly? What's this one? So we've got an enriched eye base, which I'm assuming will be really good because it looks like it's similar to the face base. A lip tint, which is great. I'm excited to try that. I was actually thinking just the other day that I needed a lip tint for when I'm doing like a no makeup look, but I want to have colour to my lips. I'm going to see what colour this is. So this is the colour of it. It's like a really pale pinky colour. And actually, it is really nice you can see on my hand it's like a really subtle tint it's not too much so actually i think that could be so good for like a no makeup day then i've also been sent this um yep yeah, i've been sent that that's the one so it is a mascara from bite beauty just because it says bite on it doesn't mean you have to do that um what's it got in it let's see nelly you're really <laughs> nelly is that yours no give it to me give it to me nelly stop oh my god you are so cheeky. You want that one? Is that your mascara now? Okay, you go put it on your lashes. You let me know how it is. You're gonna give everyone a review next week. Come here. Oh. Anyways, let's actually see what this mascara does. So it says, super size lashes powered by superfoods. Oh my god, honestly, I'd love to be able to use mascara, but if I put mascara on my lashes, they never ever look like that, because they're just so straight. Even if I curl them, they don't even look like that. It's a bit of a nightmare. So this is actually so cute. I received this. No, it's mine, not yours. Um, this package from Benefit, and they sent a little pink silk face mask with Benefit written on it, and then this is for their professional super setter look which i'm actually obsessed with a professional primer so i'm excited to try the setting spray i think it's going to be really good you are such an attention seeker honestly it's not yours you don't have any pores well actually you you have four pores but not these kind of pores oh so it, it oh okay this is amazing so it's a makeup setting spray but it's also to blur pores which is just ideal so it does both what a dream. Oh my god, I'm excited to try that. And then I've also been sent this from Sigma, which is their Warm Neutrals collection, which sounds like an absolute bit of me. Anything with Warm Neutrals. I'm also completely obsessed with Sigma face brushes. They are so good. They've actually got um, this E35 brush is one that I've used before. It's so good. So it's like a little fluffy blending brush, but it's such a good blending brush if you're looking for, looking for one that is really good let's have a look at the colors this is the sigma warm this is so hard to do with one hand sigma warm neutrals eyeshadow palette oh my god these look amazing look at these colors they are so nice what do you think of these nelly i'm excited to give these a go as well because sigma eyeshadows have got such good pigment in them so that looks like it'd be a really good palette and then in this package we've got something from anastasia beverly hills we've got their so their brow freeze clear brow wax a highlighter and some lip glosses I'm going to see what that highlight, that highlighter looks dreamy. I'm going to get it out. So this is the packaging. I actually really like that it's white. It's so nice. And then this is the highlighter. It's like a sort of white iridescent shade. So pretty. I really like the print that's in there as well. Look at the sparkle on that. So nice. So this has just arrived. So this is the Morphe Sweet Oasis collection. Um, so it's got Karen. I'm not sure if it's her palette or whether she's just the face of it. But either way, she looks amazing. Um, so it's got a palette and then there's also brushes and some lip gloss trios. But I love the packaging. This is so, like such nice colours. And then underneath here is the brushes which again i actually love the pink and the turquoise it's so pretty and then that's the little lip gloss trio um i'm just gonna have a look inside this palette and see what the colors are like okay these colors are insane they are so nice i actually am obsessed with morphe palettes they're such good value and the pigment and everything about them is amazing i often think if you can just buy like one or two morphe palettes you'll pretty much have every shade you ever need but this one is amazing i love the sort of like bright colors in this Maybe I should do a bright eyeshadow look for something or another. I always get too scared though. I'm such a nude, nude girl. But I did do some bright ones last year and I did quite like them. So maybe I'll give it a go. Look what's arrived. What is this? What is this? This is your new harness. Which we're hoping you might finally walk with a bloody harness on. What do you reckon? Do you like the look of this one? I've done some research into dogs that won't wear harnesses and this sort of 
no, don't chew it, it's not for chewing. <laughs> this style apparently is gonna be best, so we're gonna take her out for a walk this morning and um, see how it all goes, but I'm hoping it's not for chewing that she's gonna like this one. Is that your tea towel? Where'd this come from? Come here. Where did this come from? Come here. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come and try your harness on. I don't know how this works. So, it's like the one that Minty's got. Oh, let's move the wire. Okie dokie, ready, head through, head through, head through, good girl. Okay, ready, feet. Oh, you, you feel like a pro, you're putting it on like Minty does. It's very clever. Don't lie down. That looks much more comfortable. <laughs> Don't lie down. Stop chewing it. Stop chewing it. That's quite nice, isn't it? That looks really That's comfy. That's comfy. You gonna wear that one on the walk? Yeah? You gonna show everyone how you're a big doggy who wears harnesses? walks like a professional and doesn't just do this the whole time. <laughs> <laughs> it's going well. It's going really, really well. You're too you stuck. Your, you your jaw stuck. Oh, Nelly, be careful. So we're all ready to go. There she is. There she is. She's excited. Family outing in your harness. We'll let you guys know in next week's vlog how she gets on with it because otherwise, as I say, but this, these vlogs are getting longer and longer. And fingers crossed for a more successful walk yes, today. Yes, pray for Nelly, everyone. Nelly in her harness. You're going to be a good girl? Yeah, sure. Thanks so much for watching there, guys, and we will see you in our next vlog. <laughs> Bye, guys.